In our previous videos, we had learned that in 1820, Oersted had discovered that an electric conductor produces a magnetic field around it. Or we can say that an electric conductor behaves like a magnet. So many of the scientists were also very much amazed by this remarkable discovery of Oersted. And they were very curious to know that whether its reverse is true or not. That means that whether it is possible to somehow produce electric current by using the magnetic field. Now, if such a thing existed and they were able to somehow find a way to produce electric current by using magnetic field, it could revolutionize the world as electric current was previously made by using chemical reactions. During those times, there was a person named Michael Faraday who didn't have a formal education but he was very curious to know what is happening in the world. So he used to perform a lot of experiments to know that what is true and what is false. So during one of his experiments in 1831, he found out that current can be produced by changing the magnetic field. What he did was, he took a coil and he found out that when number of magnetic field lines changed through this coil, current is induced in this coil. So we'll try to find out that what all experiments Faraday did and how did he establish that current can be produced by magnetic field. Now we'll try to replicate his experiments. So to replicate his experiment, we need a coil and we had connected this coil to the galvanometer. This is to ensure that we know when current is being induced in this coil. Because galvanometer shows the deflection when current passes through the galvanometer. And we had taken a magnet and by the movement of this magnet, we'll see that whether current is being induced in the coil or not. So let's do it. So if I move the magnet towards the coil, you will find out that the galvanometer deflected in left direction. So we'll see that when we are moving the magnet towards the coil, the number of magnetic field lines are increasing through the coil. So a galvanometer deflects in the left direction. Now, if I take the magnet away from the coil, you will find out that the galvanometer is being deflecting in right direction, which is just opposite to our previous case. Now, in this case, magnetic field lines are decreasing through the coil. So, galvanometer is deflecting in opposite direction. So, if you will observe that this case is quite similar to the case in Oersted experiment. In Oersted experiment, the magnetic field direction depends on the direction of electric current. And in this case, the direction of induced current depends on the direction of movement of the magnet. So in Oersted experiment, we had known right hand thumb rule so as to find the exact direction of magnetic field. So in this case also, we have to find out a way to know the right direction of current each and every time. So this thing is being solved by using Fleming right hand rule. So as the name indicates, it is Fleming right hand rule. So we have to take our right hand. Don't take your left hand. Otherwise you will get wrong result. So again, you have to take your right hand, thumb, forefinger and second finger in such a way that they are mutually perpendicular to each other. Thumb is perpendicular to forefinger, forefinger is perpendicular to second finger and second finger is perpendicular to thumb. Now, we have to apply it in such a way that your thumb points in the direction of motion of the conductor, your forefinger points in the direction of magnetic field, then the second finger gives you the direction of induced current. So, let us try to apply. Now this is a magnet, its north is there and south is there, so magnetic field will be in this way, it is always from north to south. So magnetic field direction will be this, 
and conductor is moving outwards. So I will have to change my hand to this. Now my forefinger is pointing in the direction of magnetic field and the thumb is pointing in the direction of movement of the conductor. So the second finger gives the direction of current. So you will find that current in this conductor will flow in downward direction. Now let us reverse the direction of conductor and find out again the direction of current. So magnetic field is in the same direction but the conductor is moving inwards. So this will be the case. The conductor is moving inwards. So now you will find out that the current will be induced in upward direction. So this is how we apply Fleming right hand rule to know the exact direction of the induced current. Now this phenomena has a very much importance in our daily lives. This phenomena is used to make electric current which is then used to run our all the appliances. So in our next video we will be learning that how electric current is being made by using electric generators.